sucks. Your 2D game is so bad. The levels don't load. Quite it's literally just a black screen. Oh, I've got black screen. I've got black screen. I've got black screen. I've got over the past six months, I've created and updated my game Backrooms 2D, a game based on the internet creepypasta of the same name, just in 2D. And I was pretty happy with the game, but after Dirtman123 said the game sucked, we need to make it better, so it doesn't suck. Starting with the black screen bug. This bug has plagued both my YouTube and Game Store comments with the same phrase. The game is black, unplayable. One star. And if I want to change the opinion of Dirtman123, I would need to fix it. And thanks to my boy Bionicle as God, I have some clues to work off of. Now, what I see right here, there's a pause button and you have the generating terrain. Now, what I'm thinking is, you guys see this black stuff over here? I can't see through any of the walls. I believe this system is causing everything go black. So I started digging. I quickly discovered that the bug could be replicated if I moved the black stuff out of the camera view. I first assumed that a different script might be causing this to happen, but then it hit me. Why was this happening on some phones and not others? This led me to believe that the culprit was an obscure bug in the player settings, and after two hours of searching, bam, removed OpenGL S3. Now you may ask, what the heck is OpenGL blah blah? I don't know, but apparently it caused some shaders on some phones to not work. Please tell me this was the bug, please. <sighs> With the bug hopefully out of the way, it was time to create something new. Level 4, this godforsaken le level- Level 4 is an abandoned office completely devoid of furniture, filled with windows that reveal the outside world. And the first thing I saw was how to generate this. Other levels like level 0, 2, and fun use the same algorithm with slightly altered parameters to be created. Level 4, however, is open, expansive, and filled with irregularly shaped rooms, meaning I can't use my old tile generation system for this one. So after getting some reference images of the level, I decided to tackle this mammoth problem first with art. We have all the sprites of our levels, but we don't have the individual tiles themselves. So I created different kinds of tiles based on the sprites I made, including Twin. Utah. And just like that, we've managed to spawn one tile. Yes! Yes, dude! Let's freaking go! Let's say my mouse is the player. I'll be walking around. I can see through these windows. I can open these doors. Do you guys see what's happening right now? One tile doesn't exactly mimic the expansiveness of the back rooms, however, so my next step would be creating an adjacent tile that would connect perfectly to the previous tile. Should be pretty easy. What the heck? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness! 10 hours of work and I could finally see the results of my algorithm working. However, there's a lot of bugs starting with wh whatever this is. Just know that this bug took me another six freaking hours to solve. Please subscribe so I don't go into a mental hospital. Like, please. Anyways, as William Shakespeare once said, what's a door if it don't work, bruh? So I spent the first five hours of day four making my doors actually work. So, uh, you basically take a door, Take another door, and if they're next to each other, make it a spinny boy. And after fixing more bugs, <laughs> I passed out and started day five with fixing more bugs. I cannot make this stuff up. Some doors weren't working, these walls were jagged, and when I finally got around to animating the doors, the doors would rotate like a pinball machine. Why? Seven and a half hours of bugs and 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 bugs. Yes, dude, it worked! We got doors, baby! <laughs> what should I make next? Oh, it's 50-50! And after the hellish nightmare that was of the door, it was time to furnish up our office. But Juju, you just said- Level 4 is an abandoned office completely devoid of furniture. And that's true, Johnny, but walking around completely empty white rooms is pretty boring in my opinion. There's also an area in level 4 that has furniture, so let's just say it's that. I spent the rest of day 5 generating interior designs of chat, did the sleep thing, and spent day 6 creating the sprites for the terrain and building the tiles. On day 7, which was a 10 hour stream by the way, I started with procedurally generating the cubicles. I then let chat decide what I should make next, which was the skin stealer. The 
Skin Stealer is a big old humanoid entity that uses skin to cover up their true form. Kind of reminds me of Mr. Sandman, but just skin. Ew. <gasps> Now at this point, I usually started by creating all the sprites needed for the skin stealer. But because I streamed my development live, I had increased participation from you guys, and my boy Tyndall B created this! Look at this! This looks sick! And I didn't even make this! And if you guys want to join the project, just join the Discord. Link in description. So after yoinking Tyndall B sprites, we have a skin stealer moving through our office. However, he can't go through any doors, making him pretty harmless. So I spent a few hours making this! No, not, not that. There we go. The final thing I needed to finish level four was the exit elevator, which finally, the game of gods gave me a break. It might be buggy, I don't care. Let me take my elevator, get out of this level. It took me a week to do. And with the pain of all the bugs, doors, and skin sealers finally behind me, it was time for the fun part, polishing. It looks kind of cool. It actually looks sick, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> Finally, after adding the credits and fixing up the final bugs, I built the game for all of you to enjoy. This update was absolutely amazing. The fact that I could interact with you guys in real time while also creating a game I'm passionate about was so, so cool. And I'm genuinely- Wha- What? Are. You. Serious? So, unless I figured it out right before I uploaded this video, the changes won't be on iOS, which is really, really- Dumb. Why does Apple make it so hard to put games on the App Store? I've been stuck on this bug for nearly a week now. What the heck is a signing certificate? Why do I need a provisioning profile? Why can't this just be simple? If any of you have any experience with putting games on the App Store, please tell me. I'm a complete noob at this stuff and I just can't figure out how to fix this dumb, stupid, little bug. Well, if you want to see more of my suffering, make sure to check out the previous devlog where I struggled on App Store woes for a week. Also, play the game Epic Gamers.